a bit of time. I was not with you last week, right? But I'm with you this week and we have such a fun topic to talk about. All things clock and stone. Do you guys love this brand as much as I do? I mean, it is a true soft spot in my heart. Probably because the clothes are so soft. They are just so yummy, so delicious to wear, a little bit elevated, and I don't know about you guys, but I am just ready to get dressed. And these pieces help me get there, no problem, including the top I'm wearing. So let's start from the very beginning. This is the cloth and stone smocked linen top. It's easy, it's breezy, it comes in two colors. I love the detail here, this great little smocking on the shoulder and it actually carries through to the back. For those hot summer days that we know are coming, this is the absolute perfect top to pop on. Now, I'm wearing it again in this great little kind of neutral color. It also comes in black. So if you are just one of those gals that needs that easy going out top, but you don't want anything too hot, I'd grab it in the black, but I don't know, everything neutral this season I am just in love with. I can't get enough of creams, whites, khakis, taupes, bring it, I love it. So I'm a little partial to this color. Now, I am pairing it back to what has been a bananas good bestseller jean. This is the Josefina in white, Destructed. Now, you guys know this jean, we've been eating it up. We've been talking about easing yourself back into that denim wardrobe, and if you are still on the fence about what jean to get because you just need an update, I'm telling you the Josefina is the way to go. It's such an easy jean to put on your body. It's a boyfriend fit, but not super, super relaxed, so it's a nice kind of hybrid between the straight and the skinny. It has a tremendous amount of stretch in it. I actually size down in this one and you can still see for me that it's really really roomy and has a little bit of gift to it if you want that true boyfriend fit wear your normal size but just know this guy does stretch now i like the destruction on this one especially with the cloth and stone top because i think it just adds a little bit of kind of interest and it doesn't make it feel quite so clean but this josephina also comes in a clean white so if you are loving just a more clean white jean that would be a nice way to dress it up maybe for some Mother's Day plans that hopefully you're not making for yourself and someone else is making for you. And then I paired it back to a neutral shoe. So really any neutral shoe, I feel like goes so beautifully with all this great textural pieces that we're getting in. This is this little Dolce Vita shoe that I love, love, love. It's a simple kind of strappy shoe, but it does have a little bit of a heel. So for those of you who are just flat, flat, flat averse, this is a nice one because it gives you a tiny bit of lift, but not so much that you feel like you're wearing a big old wedge. All right, other fun tops that you can mix and match. Now, one that I know you are loving, and it's another fun kind of, I don't know, night out, patio, ready for dinner, even just a backyard gathering top is this trapeze top from Fluff and Stone. So it comes in two colors, and I kind of call it my like, spring forward, summer party color, and then my, again, more neutral oxide. So what makes this silhouette so fun, I think, is all the details. Number one, it's a halter silhouette, which is so good for those shoulders. Now, do you guys remember when like that cold, like double cold shoulder top was really starting to happen? And I think the reason we all loved it so much is when you think about all your different body parts, shoulders look good for like, a really long time. I mean, this is like a good body part we should be showing off, and there is nothing that does it better than a halter silhouette. So, this guy, so pretty for that. Now, I love this little kind of ladder stitching that it has on it. It's an adjustable tie neckline, so you can kind of bring it up high if you want to, or leave it a little bit more open, and I love the shape. Now, we call it more of this like trapeze swing silhouette because it is just that. It's easy to wear, it's gonna pull kind of away from your body, very flattering, and you can do a little half tuck kind of the way that I did with this smock top, or you can just leave it out. Again, paired back to a jean would be so cute, or even a skinny, I think would be nice to kind of counterbalance that like more fluid shape. Another top that has been such a big hit from Cloth and Stone, also comes in two colors, and we are literally sold out at the warehouse. I know I'm in the warehouse days, it's so fun. 
in the other color, but it is the same as, oh, actually no, it was hiding from me. It's, I got it, I'm not right here. Okay, is this great little banded bottom top. Now, the reason I love this guy is because it's so easy with a pair of jeans. So if you are not a loving, like a half tucker, it just feels like a lot of work or it never feels quite right, or you are not embracing the full tuck yet, which I hear you, I get it, I understand, this is an easy solve. So this guy, banded bottom, same kind of shearing at the neckline, so a really, really pretty line, and then just a simple little sleeveless silhouette. Now, I love this guy personally with a little bit of a higher waist jean. Now the Josefina is a higher waist too. This is not really a mid-rise, it's definitely a higher. Now it's not gonna be as high as say like your Riley, but it is a higher waist. But I think it's really flattering because it really nips in that way. So if I was going to grab a great little jean to wear with this, what would I grab? Maybe this little skinny, I think, actually from Seven would be so darn cute. So this is that angled hem jean bottom. And I think what this does with either color is it cuts what could, I think, be a little bit of sweetness from this top and gives it a little bit of edge and attitude. And with that fun angled hem, it's not so much destruction, but I don't know, just enough that it doesn't feel so, so clean. And then, if you want to give yourself a little bit of lift, that's where I think this little shoots guy comes in with the cork sandal and that just clear straps, makes your legs look a miles long, and then you've got that fun little top, and like, done. Good to go. Great little night out look, soft. Okay. We've been talking a little bit about shirts, right? Relax button downs relaxed shirting, just that fun kind of breezy top. And I know, and yes, Corey, if you're watching, I'm talking to you. I have a girlfriend who refuses to wear button down shirts. She refuses, she says she hates them, she never likes them, the collars, I've seen hearts because I'm guessing that other people feel this way. I get it. Now, I will tell you, you guys know this about me, there's nothing I love more than a popped collar. It is, it is just in my blood, it is in my veins, and I can never walk away from it. So I've been like thinking long and hard, what do we need to talk about to get some of you into more of a button down silhouette? And here is why I think this season's button downs are ones that you will like. Number one, and this is most important, they are more relaxed. So if you feel like when you put on a button down, the first thing you do is feel like it's pinching and pulling right across your bust line, the solve is here. These silhouettes are much, much more relaxed than they have been in the past. So you're not gonna get that super tight fit where you feel like if you just move your body a little bit, you're just gonna bust a button. These guys, much, much more relaxed and drapey. In fact, I love these shirts worn all the way close or worn more and more open, almost as like an alternative to a denim jacket. Number two, the fabric, especially the versions we have from Cloth and Stone, are so soft. So you're gonna get that beautiful drape, that easy, relaxed fit. It's not gonna feel so starched and crisp the way that maybe you're thinking that button downs have been in the past. So you've got a great little chambray version and a nice little white version, either or. I wear my true size in these, again, because they are more and intended to be more relaxed, so really, really easy to put on. I just want to check and make sure there's any. What size am I wearing in this tank? This is a small. And you guys, you can see, this also, I'd say, is a more relaxed fit. Now, I think in this tank, I just want to show you guys this just so you can see. I did a little half tuck. I think this is also really nice, tucked all the way in. I'm going to say this. When you wear a linen top, you got to kind of commit to what you're going to do with it from a tucking situation almost out of the gate because you know once you like half tuck it you can't decide you're going to untuck it and once you full tuck you can't go back to a half tuck because now you've created yourself a wrinkled mess and i don't know about you but if i'm ever going to iron anything or steam something it's going to be one time and then i'm not doing it again so here it is full tucked i mean i love that too because i think it gives it a little bit more shape but i do love that half tuck as well if you're just looking for kind of a halfway in kind of moment so we talked about that great little relaxed top which i think is so fun good news it now comes in a sleeveless silhouette. So we've got this great version from Plop and Stone. Same idea, gang. So a little bit more of a relaxed fit. You can see even just a more fluid, slightly A-line shape in that shirting. 
that just gives it an ease, ease, ease to it. Now I love the collar on this. It's really soft. It comes in this great white. This is an easy one to throw on with just a little pair of jeans. Now you know I'm wearing the white Josephina that's destructive. How cute would this be? I mean, this to me is just your quintessential live in it all summer uniform. Sleeve is top, Josephina jean, and then your neutral sandal and you're good to go. I love adding a little bit of texture here because it's been kind of fun and unexpected. So darn cute. These would also actually be adorable. This little Dolce Vita. I mean, how cute would that be? With, I mean, right? For just a little bit of something, something. Something about a white shirt and a pair of blue jeans that just feels easy and always feels put together. It's kind of that same idea as just throwing on a white t-shirt. You just feel like you've got it going on. So, love that combination. Okay, so we talked some really fun tops. What I think we should probably, oh no, there's one more. There's one more amazing top we have to talk about. So this one you might actually remember. This is from Cloth and Stone as well. It is the Frayed Hem Tank. So many good reasons to love, love, love this guy. Let's talk about why. Number one, that double V. So I know that this can be a little tricky, right? If you have more curve on your upper half, if you carry, like if you're broad shoulders or if you just feel like you carry your weight more across your bust line, sometimes I think that these crew neck tops can be a little tricky because you just feel like it's a tent starting at your neckline and going out. So a V-neck is such a great option. That's why I love a good button down or that sleeveless version. But that's also why I think this frayed edge tank is so good. So when I say frayed edge, I just want you to see what I'm talking about. At the bottom, just a really simple little detail there. It's not a lot of destruction. It doesn't feel unfinished. Just, I think, adds a little bit of interest to the top. Now this guy comes in three colors, comes in black, of course, your essential white, and then this yummy, yummy blue tie-dye, which P.S. would be so cute with these Josephinas. Now, one of the reasons I love a silhouette of this is because of that double V. So it opens up your neckline, show off that stack necklace if you want, or just keep it kind of open. Also in the back, so a really flattering line, so pretty, and hard to kind of pick your favorite. This is, to me, one of those staples that also looks great underneath a jacket really really pretty with a pair of more beachy pants so one of my absolute favorites to wear I just want to make sure I'm not missing any questions yes so cute okay speaking of kind of that beachy pants so I don't know about you but I'm feeling kind of ready to put my joggers to the side just I'm not giving them up I'm just gonna just gonna move them over to the side of my closet give them a break they're gonna go on vacation for a little bit, and I wanna introduce something else on my closet that still feels equally comfy, but just feels a little bit more elevated. So we were talking about how Cloth and Stone just gives you that just one notch up look, and I think they do that beachy pant so beautifully. So a couple of really yummy options. If you guys did not see, I did a fun little beachy pant story a couple weeks ago, and like different ways to wear them. They're so, so comfy. They are absolutely one of my favorite new bottoms. And so we've got a couple great ones here. So the first one is the one that I was wearing in my stories. This is that beautiful light blue chambray. Guys, I'm telling you, this feels like jammies. <laughs> they are your jammy pants disguised as a normal pant. Chambray wide leg. Now the reason I love this pant is because I think it's so crazy versatile. You can dress it up or dress it down. So it looks equally good with a little flat as it does with more of a heel or a wedge. Now, the question I think that always comes into play with these is what top to wear with them. Well, here's where I think you can go. I think you can go a little bit more casual or I think you can go a little bit more elevated. Where you can't go wrong is how flattering this is with that smocked waistband. So, my inclination here would be like the easiest way I think to introduce this pan into your wardrobe is to just wear a great little tank that skims the body and that you can tuck into the waistband. And again, you guys, do not be afraid of doing that with this pant. It's got that thick, smocked waistband that you can let sit wherever you want along your tummy, kind of move it, adjust it, and it's not gonna feel cinching or tight and really, really flattering. So, I pair it back to the Michael Stars tank. Now, this is exactly how I wore it for stories, but if I wanted to punch it up a little bit, we just got a brand new color in this yummy, yummy pink, which I think is so, so fun. 
And that adds, I think, a little bit of whimsy to this. Now, full tuck, you know the Michael Stairs boat neck. This is one of our most reviewed items on our entire website for a darn good reason. This is the quintessential summer tank. If you are wondering what tank you need, I'm gonna tell you right now, this is the one. It is so fantastic, so flattering. You don't need to believe me, believe each other. You've been talking about it for a year. Love this guy, stock up so many colors. So that's kind of the first way I think to think about wearing that beachy pan if it feels intimidating to kind of figure out tucking in or not. Now, once you get the chambray, you gotta go with this amazing tie-dye. So the tie-dye I think is so darn fun because it's a great way to get this print and pattern into your look without wearing it on your top half. So sometimes it's just nice to wear a clean top, maybe add a fun little statement necklace, like one or, or layer your neck or a great little hoop, and then you've got this kind of party on the bottom going on. This one too, I feel like you can dress up or dress down. My like, easy inclination, of course, is to go back to that great Michael Stars boat neck. We just also got it, aside from that yummy pink, we also got it in navy, which I think would be so, so fun. These guys, now I think for me, 5'4", not so long legs, I do think that these run a little bit long on me. So I'm always gravitating in this one towards more of a heeled shoe or a wedge. But I could also see just loving this pant so much for me, just chopping it off, going in and getting it hemmed so that I can wear it with a flat shoe because I think there's something just very breezy easy about that. I would also, honestly, gang, just throw this on with a graphic tee and a pair of Burks. I mean, that to me is like, that's how it becomes that easy replacement for your jogger because you're just gonna wear it, like knock around on a Saturday. I wore mine when I was on vacation to the beach. I just threw it on over my swimsuit with a spiritual gangster tank. And I felt just like we went and got ice cream after and I didn't feel like I was wearing my cover up. I still felt kind of put together, but not so put together that I felt like I was trying too hard. Wear them a million ways, so comfy, so, so easy. Do you guys, I mean, isn't it funny to get this in a navy and a pink? I was, I've been kind of craving a new color in this and I think these are so easy to wear. Okay, now Ash was wearing this pant and I thought it was so fun, this new guy from Cloth and Stone. So drawstring waistband, this is that, and I'm, I'm loving that we're bringing this in because I think it's a really understandable and not so intimidating way to wear it. This is that paper bag waistband. This, I think, can be a little harder to figure out how to wear, right? Especially when it's in a rigid fabric. But when you put it in this incredible tensile that we have from Cloth and Stone, suddenly it becomes easy. So I'm wearing this guy, wide leg, patch pockets. I'm popping this on with a simple little tank. Now, the Michael Stars, I think, would be a super easy piece to wear with it, but I think you could also do if you wanted a little bit more arm coverage, and honestly, I think you could get away with wearing this to work, even if like you had to throw a jacket on over, with this Sanctuary Twist tee. Now, we've had so many fun tanks to talk about, right? We talked about the Iris, we talked about the Michael Stars boat neck, so many yummy options, but I know sometimes you just wanna sleep. So that's why I think the Sanctuary tee is so, so good. So you've got this little twist around the neckline, so it makes it not so flat, open neck, so more of a scoop, not a V, which I think actually sometimes looks a little less sporty, and I prefer a scoop underneath a jacket than a V for some reason. That's like my personal thing, but I just like the less angular lines of it, and it comes in so many colors. So you've got your great white, of course black, but then you've got a fun little neutral camo, and then this to die for yummy, yummy orange. So this guy, tucked into this cloth and stone paper bag bottom would be so easy. And again, because it's a knit, so you don't have to worry about that kind of rigid, how do I tie the bow, where does it sit on me? It's just gonna feel like a breeze. Now, when you're wearing that cropped wide leg silhouette, a question I hear a ton is what's the shoe to wear back to it? And that's why I'm just so loving this season's shoes because it's all about the slide. A flat, easy slide, Paired back to a wide leg fluid pant is one of the easiest combinations you can put on. Absolutely, you can wear a heel or a wedge with it, but I think it actually looks more modern and a little bit more beachy when you wear it back to just your little slide. Go casual with a Burke or a Freedom Moses, dress it up a little bit with your Dolce Vita, and you're good to go. So fun. Okay, 
in that same kind of soft bottom beachy pant vibe, there's a whole category of shorts that we should talk about. I know we have been talking ad nauseum, right, about our Parkers and our Janes and how much we love our cutoffs. And I mean, sign me up, I'm on board. I would wear cutoffs just about every day if I could. They are definitely not work appropriate, even in my office. So probably not wearing them there, but they're the first thing I put on when I get home and I need to change. But this beachy short might change my mind about what to wear. So, so many fun actions. I'm actually gonna start with this guy because I think this is kind of tying into that great little paper bag pant we were just talking about. Neutral. Same kind of detail with that, a little bit more gathering. This one does have a thicker bow to it, but it's relaxed, you guys, so it's just gonna drape. Now this, paired back to a Michael Stars tank and a denim jacket, golden. So great, so easy to wear. Want a little bit more coverage, that's why I pop on that sanctuary tee. But we also have this amazing other short from Cloth and Stone that I love, love, love. And this was one that we had last year. And I found that this was a really nice one. I want to be as casual as I was in a cutoff, but wanted something that was a little bit lighter weight. This is where this great little short came into play. So, let me give you the name of this one so I don't forget. This is the Freyham Pocket Short. Well, that's very descriptive and very clear about what it is. So it comes in this great little oxide, this yummy, yummy khaki, and then there's another iteration of it in a chambray, which is so fun. It's almost like a little track pant blend when you get really credit for that fray, which is so darn cute. These are a little bit shorter. So if you are a fan of say like the Sanctuary Squad short that we've had in the past, or you just like a little bit shorter short, this guy's really nice. It does have an elastic waistband. So I find for me, I just let this one ride a little bit lower because I'm typically wearing it pretty catch with a graphic tee or a looser fitting tank or that Sanctuary tee. So it doesn't feel to me like this is not one that you're gonna wear higher on your waist. It's just one that you like slip on over your suit and you're good to go. Or just knocking around on the weekends with your kiddos. I also see this baseball sidelines. Oh yeah, I know that those days are coming for many of us. I try to love baseball. I mean, I love the idea of it. I love being outside. And, but man, those games are long. I mean, especially coming off a hockey season when it's like 45 minutes and you're out of there. And baseball, it seems like 45 minutes and you're just getting started. Does anyone else feel my pain? What, like, what do we do? What do we do about, we should start like a mom revolution and get baseball games to be shorter. Maybe, I don't know, I'm trying, I'm trying. Okay, last but not least, there are some really fun, more dressed up pieces from Cloth and Stone that I just wanna hit on. I know that we've got some occasions coming up, so be it graduations, baby showers, wedding showers, or honestly just moments that couldn't happen last year that you are now safely planning and trying to get together, you need to get dressed for it, right? So kind of two ends of the spectrum in pieces that I wanted to talk about. The first is this amazing utility romper. Love, love, love this guy. I think rompers can be intimidating. Like, are they too young? Do they feel too short? Am I trying too hard? And I would say absolutely not when you really think about kind of what the material and what the silhouette is. And that's why I love a good utility silhouette. I just want to make sure I'm not missing any. Um, it does not have a tank underneath because I'm wearing a white tank, which is not great underneath this. Someone asked, like, does this have a tank underneath? So it, this is, you know, more of a khaki color. I'm wearing a white tank, which I think just especially under our live lights just makes it like pop and it feels very white. When you wear a nude bra underneath this, it does not stand out the way that this white tank does. I just popped this on in case I wanted to switch into a different top. So not nearly as sheer as it feels when you're pairing a white tank underneath. Does that help? Yes, okay. And I'm wearing the Josephina gang. Okay, so this is that utility romper from Cloth and Stone. And the reason I love this is because it's a grown up way to do a romper, which I think is not always easy to find. Always easy to find. So. I like this guy because the darker color for one, drawstring waistband, so just like of those jumpsuits when we're trying to find ones that really flatter us, getting something that gives you a little bit of detail around your waist really does help to give you more shape. The short is not too short, it has pockets, which is lovely, but everything is monochromatic. So 
This is absolutely one that you can kind of dress up or dress down. I like it actually with just a flat little sandal, but I also have seen it paired back to more of a wedge or a heel, and I think that can be quite lovely. If you're looking to just give yourself legs for days, that's where that little shoots heel comes into play, right? Because it just dis literally disappears the top of it on your foot, which is so nice. Open neckline, so pair it back to your stacked necklaces or throw on a little hoop. So chic and so good to go. And then this dress, which I'm just laughing because why, why do these dresses just not look like anything on the hanger? And if I could put this on over my jeans, I would, but it would that would not help you either. So why do we love this great little dress from Clop and Stone? Okay, number one, I'm gonna kind of open it up so you guys can see. More of that halter silhouette, which is so lovely, has a great little keyhole back, and the color of this is so yummy. It's almost like a lavender with some really pretty, I'd say a kind of ecot tie-dye hit. So this is not going to read over the top tie-dye, just a little bit drawstring or like a drawstring around the waistband that you can just tie really loosely and kind of let it go. Has a super sexy slit, which I love, love, love. So there's nothing prettier than a slit in a long maxi dress when you're walking. Show off those gams. So pretty. And then what jewelry to wear with this? Well, I think when you're wearing a halter, I don't wear anything around my neck. This is where you do your bracelet stack, which is so fun. And maybe again, like a simple earring or a little huggy would be so great with this. And done. Mother's Day plans. Don't make them for yourself, but make someone else make them for you. And wear this and you're gonna feel like a million bucks. Or maybe, I don't know, what else do you guys think? Like showers coming up or frankly, just like a girl's night on the patio. A dress can make you feel so pretty. This is such a fun one to wear. So, one of my absolute favorites. Okay, so we've talked about amazing tops from Clap and Stone, great ways to kind of get dressed, to go out a little bit or elevate. We talked about some really fun dresses, those amazing bottoms that are so versatile and absolutely replace those joggers in your closet. A great way to do it. I've got one piece left that I want to talk about and this one actually is not from Clap and Stone but it's something that we're so excited here every week and we just got into our store. So here's the deal. This is an incredible collaboration that was birthed out of a friendship and a mentoring opportunity from our CEO Megan Tampty. So Megan became friends with the founder, owner, designer, um, of For the Love and decided to do this beautiful sweatshirt collaboration. We are carrying these sweatshirts in our stores as well as in their store here locally in Minneapolis. Now, what we love about this, $10 from every sweatshirt goes straight to For the Love, which is so fun. Megan is, if anyone has had the chance to meet her briefly or for a long period of time, an incredibly passionate mentor. She sees the spark in people and brings it out in such a way and it's always so natural and always feels so good and that's the reason I actually love this collaboration more than anything is that it came from such a pure place of two people finding each other and recognizing there is something they wanted to bring out the best of. And so this great sweatshirt, we are carrying it in a few of our stores as well as online it is a unisex size. So this is one that I am buying not only for myself, but for the men and women in my family. So cute, just paired back to a pair of cutoffs and obviously for an incredible cause. If you wanna learn more about it, Megan actually has Dave, who is the founder of For the Love on her podcast. You can listen to it there. And we also have it covered on our blog. So, so many ways to hear more behind this incredible story and this journey that Megan and Dave have been on together, but I think a really fashionable way to share the love and feel the love as well. Okay, clap and stone for the love. There you go. I hope this gave you some great ideas. We've got so many fun stories and reels coming up the rest of the week. Keep your eyes out for them. Have an incredible, incredible day, and we will see you soon. Thanks so much, everyone, for joining. Talk to you later.